Hello everyone, uh, bringing you another one of these book recommendation videos today. This one on Saving Einstein, When Norfolk Hid a Genius, The Double Life of Oliver Locker Lampson, written by Stuart McLaren. Uh, so, a while ago when I did the Q&A uh, video and then had to turn it into the live stream, one of the questions I got was, did Einstein ever visit Norwich? Oh, to that effect. And this book, I, I was going to buy it anyway, but I bought it to answer that question to find out if it had the information in. Uh, so I can actually answer that one fully now. Yes, but probably for about 20 minutes while he was changing trains uh, between coming from Cromer and heading down to London. So he did set foot in Norwich, but for a very small amount of time. Uh, but anyway, back back to the book itself. Uh, so obviously, as much as Einstein does feature in this book, it's less about him and more about um, Oliver Locker Lampson, who is an absolutely fascinating character and... I think I may have to do a presentation on him. His uh, connection to the county is quite small, but I, I still think it would be worth it. Definitely one of those figures that if you wrote wrote him as fiction, uh, you'd be told, tone it down, that sounds too made up. Uh, he was a naval commander in the First World War, but he wasn't on ships. He was in armoured cars on the Eastern Front. He hatched a plan at one point to save the Tsar after the uh, Russian Revolution, but obviously it fell through. He was possibly invited to join the assassination of Rasputin, but refused to take part. So much stuff like this. He just keeps popping up with all these things if he wrote him as fiction. And I think most interestingly uh, that the book goes into for him not just helping Einstein, but helping a number of other um, uh, Jewish families escape Germany and Austria just before the Second World War. He was actually, for a period of time, a fascist. Uh, he was a commander of the Blue Shirts. Now. Another correction I have to make for myself here. Um, I can't remember actually if I said it in the live stream or in the video that didn't end up being made properly. Uh, I may have said he fought in Spain with the Blue Shirts. Uh, I've got the Blue Shirts mixed up. This was a different group. and uh, I was thinking of the Irish fascist group. Uh, this was a different one, his Blue Shirts. In fact, before men like uh, Oswald Mosley came on the scene, uh, he was considered by the, as the Nazi party was growing in Germany, that he would be... Uh, basically be the British Fuhrer if they ever took over all of Europe but he no one's quite sure why as it seems to say in the book but he turns his back on that incredibly quickly uh as the 1930s come round I think he starts to see the the danger of what it actually will will mean yeah so he goes from uh from fascist to uh helping uh helping Jewish families escape from the oncoming holocaust which is got to be one of the biggest about turns I think anyone has ever made so, um, as I say, it followed the book follows him much more than it follows Einstein. There are little uh, chapters following what Einstein was doing leading up to his time coming to Norfolk, but it is mostly about uh, about uh, Oliver Locker Lampson, who's this gentleman right here. Uh, fairly sort of standard book you would expect of these type of not so much biographies, but you know biographies and stories. Just taking you through his life, everything he did, uh, his meetings with Einstein how he managed to get him to Norfolk, the bizarre way he had him guarded up near Cromer, which was he was a, in a cabin under protection of, obviously, Locker Lampson himself, his two private secretaries, one of which is the, the woman up here who he'd go on to later marry, and the gamekeeper, all armed with various bolt-action rifles and shotguns. Now, that, was, that was their defence if an assassin had ever come for Einstein. Yeah, but it goes all over. He was, he was an MP as well. Um, and uh, obviously, as I've said on this channel many times, you know, we don't make uh, political statements here particularly. But I think regardless of where you fall on the political spectrum, you, you can uh, like this anecdote from the book. So he became an MP at quite a young age. Uh, he recently left Eton, you know, that, that sort of time period. And shortly after being voted in, he was out in London and he met one of his old school friends and, oh, we'll, we'll go and have a drink to celebrate. And go off and afterwards they're coming back and, oh, Let's have a race, you know, to that to the next lamppost on the end of the street. Who can get there first? And as they're running, his friend yells out something to make it sound like that Oliver's stolen his watch and he's chasing him down. So a policeman uh, comes in and stops it all, finds out what's going on. You know, they explain, sorry, it was a joke. We didn't mean to. Uh, Oliver says who he is and points out that he's an MP. <laughs> and the next time he's in Parliament, he's taken aside by, I think it was the Speaker of the House, and basically told, well, we found out what you and your friend are doing. Stop it. You've brought Parliament into disrepute by this kind of action. And if you do it again, we'll kick you out. And just the idea that that, 
was considered bringing Parliament into disrepute at one point. I just, I just think it's hilarious. I just want to say I apologise for the condition of the book. I did buy it new. It was in my bag uh, in one of the recent rainstorms we've had around here, and it just got a bit ruined. <laughs> so I, I do apologise for that. It was in good condition when I bought it. Yeah, so I think this is definitely one you should like to check out if you're interested. Very well written. I'm not sure any other books written by Stuart McLaren, but I'm definitely going to keep an eye out because I like his writing style. And you've got all these different inserts, not just of pictures, but of letters and uh, various things that have gone on. You've got good sections as well, if I can find them, on his sort of, uh, when he was leading his fascist movement, the blue shirts, and how quickly it all turned. Yeah, so this was this was it, the, the blue shirts and that. And apparently he made all this merchandise, and it never sold. So much so there's a bit of his son remembering that when they were young, I used to go down to like this big lake on his land and just throw the party badges he'd made in because they had rather than stones because they were just useless to them. Be an interesting one to I, I probably should have made a list before I did this video of like all the um, major figures from the politics and that in the 20th century that he ends up meeting. <laughs> you know, he, he, knew, he knew Churchill, he knew Oswald Mosley. In fact, apparently he hated Mosley from the first time he saw him. And possibly that was one of his steps away from a. Uh, from fascism though if, if he's involved in it i don't want anything to do with it and einstein isn't even like the only high profile uh person he helped flee from the nazis he's also helped uh, sigmund freud as well <laughs> so obviously he became the go-to man and uh, towards the end it goes into a bit of um him sort of helping families escape the oncoming and the and the beginnings of the holocaust and he was getting people out until i think basically a week before the second world war started and he was generally just been overlooked uh, by other people, probably because of his original fascist leanings. He's sort of tainted slightly because of it. But yeah, overall, I think this is a good book that I think, you know, if you're an Einstein, if you know, if you're a sort of fan of Einstein, this is a chapter of his life that's quite often overlooked. And I think there's a little insert of his time, you know, between his time in Europe and his later years in America. Uh, yeah, but overall, definitely worth checking out. Great, interesting bit of local history. Answered that question of uh, if he ever visited Norwich. He did, but I don't. he clearly never left the train station. Yeah, definitely check it out, and I'll be back soon with another book recommendation for you and a um, presentation as soon as I've got it finished. Thank you.